Hello everybody, Prowl here, and I have some really cool information to show you today. This just came out, and something we've known is coming for a little while, at least if you've been paying attention, but it is finally here. And it's something in the marketplace, and that something is add-ons. Now, inside of the Minecraft marketplace, you've had access for a long time for things like pre-made worlds, like you see through here, skin packs, texture packs, and a few other different things. But outside of things like skins and textures, you haven't really been able to carry anything over to a new world. Nothing that actually has any real function to it until now. Now we have add-ons. So if I go to the add-on category here, I'm just gonna pull up everything by clicking see all. We actually have a lot of add-ons that we can utilize on our existing or new worlds that we make. And a number of these are actually free right now, which is really neat. Now there's not many add-ons here because today is day one that the add-ons are actually available. And I do not know how long the free ones will be free, nor do I know how many add-ons will continue to see in the free category. But I do know that some of these free add-ons are actually pretty useful. For example, we have the gravestone here and we're going to try this out ourselves just to see how it works. But it sounds like essentially what it does is when you die, it puts a gravestone in your place that has like all of your stuff in it. So to download this add on, we can just click the free button right here. It has been added to our library of add ons. And then next we click on a little bookshelf item here on the left hand side, click on add ons and we actually need to download the add on. We have quote unquote purchased it for free. Now we're gonna hit download, download is started and download is now complete. And I'm thinking if we go to play, create new, create new world, we should be able to go to behavior packs and it is in here. Now, one thing to note, add ons, that go in the behavior pack category, which should be pretty much anything that's listed as an add-on in the game, those things are going to disable your achievements. So if for some reason you care about achievements in your world, you're gonna get disabled if you use anything that goes into the add-on category because it, it changes the behaviors of the game. But we're gonna click on activate here, and you can see it is listed here, and we'll just, we'll just go to create. It'll put us in a brand new world. Oh, there's a gravestone guide. We can check that out. Welcome to the gravestone add-on. When you die, a gravestone appears at your desk spot safeguarding your items upon respawn use the gravestone finder to locate it break the gravestone to retrieve your items okay so let's get ourselves just like a little bit of wood just a couple things like carrying our inventory here okay and if i type in slash kill self we've died and when we respawn oh we respawn with a grave marker and when we click it it tells us it's away in the western direction i don't necessarily know which direction west is but we know it's close by we can keep clicking it and see we're getting closer and there it is looks like it is actually looks like a block so if we break this boom there's all of our stuff this will be great for you guys that want to make sure that you can find all of your stuff as well as you don't want your stuff when you die to fall into lava and get burned the gravestone add-on may be something pretty cool for you looks like we have some other free add-ons as well let's try some of these visual ones we have a furniture add-on we're gonna download that. Looks like we can click download right there when it appears. We have different colors of wool. We can grab that too. And I saw this one earlier. It says it includes sleeping bags and some camping chairs. So I'm curious if these sleeping bags are functional in some way. So we're gonna grab that one too. All right, we're gonna go back to our world. We're gonna go to behavior packs, my packs. We're gonna do the furniture one, activate. Wool, activate, and hikers friends, activate. Let's throw ourselves into creative mode just to make this process a little bit easier. And it looks like we've been given some more books. We have Hiker's Friend Guide. Looks like it gives you some recipes. To craft a sleeping bag, you would need a bed. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's grab a bed. Let's put the bed in here. Oh, and it makes it into a sleeping bag. That's cool. Um, So I'm wondering if the sleeping bag just simply acts like a bed. Oh, we can sleep in it during the day. Oh. That's cool. So you can sleep in it at daytime to make it night. And I'm assuming we get back in at nighttime. And oh, it's it's even it's even more night. And we slept in it again and now it's now it's noon. So yeah, it looks like you could sleep in the sleeping bag and it it, it passes some specific amount of time. I don't quite know how much, but that's kind of cool. Like if you ever wanted to like skip the day, you could skip it. What I don't know is if our spawn is setting there. So let's do this again. Let's see if we respawn at the sleeping bag. We don't. So the sleeping bag would give you a way to sleep without having to set your spawn. So you can set your spawn in a bed, sleep in the sleeping bag, and then if you die, you respawn back at your bed 
not at the sleeping bag location. That's really cool. Oh, and look, we have two graves. All right, next, let's throw ourselves back into creative mode here. Let's check out all the wool. How to use it to facilitate all the colors. We added a new crafting item called ink. Start with red, yellow or blue dye and mix each one with different amounts of black dye. This makes different shades of red, yellow and blue base ink. Combine your base inks to form one of many different shades of ink. Craft them directly with white wool to dye it. Use your Minecraft recipe guide to help you figure out what colors you want to make and get mixing. You can also make carpets. Just use two colored wool blocks. And if you look through here, you can kind of see the different colors available. And it even tells you in the name what you have to do to make that particular ink. So you have these base inks here. If you wanted to make this color blue, you need a red one, a yellow two, and a blue four ink to make it. And then at that point, you can use those things to craft the diff or to dye, I guess, your wool blocks to be whatever color wool blocks that you want to get. Looks like there's some other things in here. You can make the wool sparkle with glow ink. You could craft a glow sheep. OK, I need to see what that looks like. It says I need two mutton, which is a little morbid, but we're going to go with it. And then a bunch of ink. I can't be bothered to figure it out, but there's a spawn egg for it. Oh, man. Um, it, it kind of looks like he had. Oh, God. Um, let's get rid of that thing. No, absolutely not. That, that looked like a mutant sheep. Oh, I just opened up this furniture info book. Look at this thing. It's kind of weird how it like turns. So, Paya. Okay, I guess it just always tries to like be in your view. Anyways, introducing legend. Uh, this hammer, hammer has different looks. It could be painted. Oh, hammer means it has different looks. Die means it could be painted, has different wood variants. Okay, okay, that's how you craft a hammer that's cool okay this is telling you different like crafting recipes a bench so like if i just like search bench here oh cool oh look at those animations those are really neat and then if you take the hammer if it has different looks it could change it oh look at that animation that's smooth i like that what else is there chair oh that's neat I'm assuming I can sit in it. Hey, yeah, look, look at me. I'm relaxing right now. Curtains. Ooh, drawers. OK, that's cool. Oh, it can actually store stuff. Flower box, wallflower box, grandfather clock. There's a lot of really cool things in here. You know what? I'm going to put this add on in the must download category. This thing's actually really cool, but that's not all. There's actually a lot of other things in here, too. There's a more TNT add on to get you a lot of different types of TNT. There's a computers add on which lets you send emails to villagers. Something tells me there you're not going to get a good response back from them. What about to your friends in a base on the other side of the world? That's kind of cool. Craft your own computer, put it in your house and start getting clackety on that keyboard. Leave emails to your friends when they're offline. Play weird computer games. OK, we, we got to do it. Oh, we got a computer book. Oh, wow. That just blew out my eardrum. Craft the ancient computer. You wouldn't need the following An ancient computer. Can I just I'm in creative mode, bro. Computer RGB computer. OK, computer ancient computer. So what's the difference? Does this tell me what the difference in the different computers are? The other computers? Well, they're basically the same as the ancient computer. They need different materials, which you can see in your crafting guide. That's where, OK, wrench. You can't break your computer with your fist. OK, you must use a wrench to break it. Can I just sit this thing down? Wait, I sit it on my dresser nope. right here. Nope. Nope. Why can't I? Why can't I crouch and do that? Give me something else I can set my computer on a shelf. That sounds perfect. It's floating in the air, but I'm OK with that. I still can't put my computer down on it. Oh, look at this sweet gaming setup. We got the RGB going on. Oh, my gosh, you're in creative. The computers cannot be used while you or players around you are in creative mode. If you're trying to break the computer, use a wrench. I just wanted to play the game, man. Apps, games, bug smash, start game. Huh? Hit bug. Oh, OK. If I hit here. Oh. Weather? Oh, um, yeah. Can we wait? Does this change the weather? Whoa, change. No, change it back. Change it back. Clear skies, please. Oh, OK. 
Trivia, choose your topic. Minecraft. Well documented, wither skeletons don't attack you when you're wearing a carved pumpkin. They can also ride wolves. They also drop diamonds, false. Okay, well, I think you get the point. The, the sending emails to your friend is kind of cool. The changing the weather is a little bit scary and the games, eh, not that great, but overall kind of cool. Okay, and the last one I wanna check out is a kind of expensive one here for you guys. This is the naturalist add-on. If you read here, it says it adds in 100 plus animals and types. They naturally spawn in every biome. You can tame, ride and interact with them. Uh, usable in any world. Let's try this out and see what we get out of this. Cause this is one thing I've always wanted in my Minecraft worlds is just have more life in general. So let's download this pack. Let's add this to our little test world here. Let's see who we can find. Anybody in the swamps? Oh, a flamingo. Look at him. He's cool. If I punch him, what does he do? Okay, he just, oh, he just ran into the water. All right, let's see who else we find. Oh, we have a deer. Hello, he's cool. Oh, he runs away. See if we see anything special on a beach. Oh, is this a bird? Oh, cool, a cardinal. Oh, that's really neat. It'd be really nice seeing, I mean, I guess they're not gonna like fly, fly around everywhere, but I mean, even that right there is just cool to see the little dude going around. Oh, what is this? A butterfly or a moth? Butterfly is not very colorful, but that's still pretty cool. Are there different variants? Oh, look. Wait, is the bird the same thing? Like will it only spawn a cardinal? Okay, it does. Is that a, what is this? A hamster? at him oh this is really cool okay let's just go in and see what other animals we have tortoise is that different than just a turtle a whale oh man we got to see that a lion a great white shark rhino ostrich Z there's so many here that are really cool a vulture let's pick one more really cool one an otter otters are really cool okay uh tortoise whoa he's really cool um a lion is he gonna eat oh wow Oh, he's tired. Oh, look, you can get the male and female ones. That's kind of neat. A rhino. Oh, man. He's so big. <laughs> Ostrich. Zebra. Vulture. Uh, does he does he fly any higher than that? Ah, look, there he goes. That's kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool seeing flying around. An otter. Okay, let's see these guys. The whale. Oh, he's so big. Great white shark. Ah, will he eat the otter? Nope. All right, Mr. Otter, looks like you're safe. Oh, there's an elephant. Ah, <laughs> all right. I'm going to say this pack is actually really cool. It is. Um, if we go, let's see, slash locate biome jungle and we go to this jungle who spawns here oh we got some like jungle frogs hello hey, let's do savannah yeah look i'm already seeing things we got a rhino right there i imagine if we look around a little bit we'll see some lions oh a giraffe and a baby giraffe ah <laughs> look at him go there's a zebra there's the wandering trader can we kill you with lions Aw. Okay, this pack needs a little bit more realism to it. In any event, these add-ons, well, they're a great addition to the game because on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, if you were playing on a console, you couldn't get these things. Or even if you're on PC or mobile and you don't know how to like go and download external add-ons and install them, or you know, so a lot of them come from not very trustworthy sites and you didn't feel comfortable with it. Well, now you have a solution. You have add-ons in the marketplace. And there are some free ones that we looked at that were really cool. And, you know, you'll have to judge for yourself if you think this one's worth like the nine or ten dollars or whatever it was that I just paid for this thing. But you get stuff like this sleeping like herds of like prides, prides of lions, you get giraffes and all sorts of cool stuff in your worlds to make them feel a little bit more alive. So anyways, I just wanted to showcase some of this to you guys. Let's make it daytime again so the lions wake up. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more like showcases of good apps ones that I happen to find let me know maybe I'll do them right now I feel like they think I look like lunch so I'm gonna get out of here thanks everybody and I'll see you next time bye